Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Yi Jong-gun. Yi Jong-gun. Uh, America, here is the Hantai Naga Jong-gun Yi. In America, I would say that reversed. It would be Jong-gun Yi. Yes, that's how it would be said in America. My surname is Li. まあ、今日はあの、遠いところから来ていただいて大変ありがとうございます。え、そして、え、皆さんのようなビジンの方の前で証言するのは初めてなんです。はい。大変光栄に思っております。I <笑>。I don't have a whole lot of time, so I would like to jump right into things if I may. So I was born in 1928 in August, and I'll turn 86 this, uh, next month. And I was 16 years old when I became a victim of the bomb. This is the center, the type center of the bomb. And this is where I was crossing the bridge when it actually happened. It's about 1.8 kilometers away from the hyper center. The red here means that uh, nearly everything in that vicinity was completely incinerated. But when I was actually uh, burned or became a victim, there were still a few buildings around uh, at that time. At the time that I was crossing, crossing that bridge, that's when the bright light um, flashed.そして、あの、その当時、目とちょっと皆さんやってみてください。あの、両手で目を押さえます。それで親指で耳を押さえて小指で鼻をというふうにやります。ちょっとやってみてください。両手で耳を、親指で、and こういうふうにして、こう、こういうふうにして、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、
それはあの原子爆弾によるものの暗さでなくてその当時の家は全部木造でしたのでそれが倒れたために家の中にあったすすが吹き出した。<笑> Because the houses、uh, like, collapsed. When the, house,、uh, the houses collapsed, <coughs> what happened was that the soot,、uh, like a black soot, coming out. So that contributed that black,、uh, blackness, the blackness that you witnessed at the time. So, I was going to say that 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 I was going to say that. So at that point,、um, while it was dark, I, I just stayed, stayed down for about five minutes and it, it was dark during that whole time. So, I was able to get out of the way. I was able to get out of the way. I was able to get out of the way. I was able to get out of the way. So, as soon as I was able to get up and, and proceed to, to evacuate the area, I went. First, looking for my, my lunchbox and my railroad, railroad hat and my glasses. The lunchbox is about 20 meters or so. The boy's and 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 the b o y b o y s a n the b o y b o y s and the boy's a n t h a n d the b o y a n d the b o y s and the boy's and the b o y a n d the b o y s and the b o y s and the boy's and the boy's and the boy's and the boy's and So I, I quickly went over、uh, to the bridge and, and evacuated in that direction. So I was able to get a lot of people to get a lot of p e And at that point, there were about、uh, four to five other adults that had evacuated to that same area. So I was able to get a lot of people to get a lot of people. And it was at that point that、um, those adults、um, recognized and stated, oh, this, this is an atomic bomb. で。まあ、自分も痛い,痛いっていうことも感じましたけどもおそういうふうに君は焼け,焼けてるということを指摘されました。So it was at that point that I recognized that my face and the back of my hands down here on my legs,、um, the back of my neck, all of it was burnt and、um, started to, to feel the pain, but they, they pointed it out at the same time I was recognizing that. そしてそこから出て自分の仕事場に走っていくんですけどもその時にはすでにこの辺りは全部家が倒れてましてその倒れた家の下から子供が下にいるとかいや親がいるとか助けてくれ助けてくれっていうのが両脇の倒れた家の屋根の上で私たちにその声をかけてくれましたが私たちはそれを助けることはできませんでした。So, as I, at, at that moment, I began to, to run towards、uh, my workplace. And as I was running、um, in that direction, on both sides of me, there, there were people that had,、um, had been cr crushed by the homes. They were there on the home area ca calling out for help and asking me to help them, but there, there wasn't anything that I could do to, to help them. There were actually, yes, the voices are calling for help from the. So I was 16 years old, and to say that I was a child might be, might be so, but、um, even though they were calling out to me for help, I didn't, I didn't feel like reaching out and trying to help them at all, unfortunately. それから職場に着きました。そうしたらあの先輩あるいは同僚たちもあみんなあいましたけれども彼らは屋内にいたために直接に被爆してないので、えー、体を焼かれてはいませんでした
so as I arrived at my workplace I, and I saw some of my mentors and then other colleagues that I worked with, because they had been far inside the uh, factory or the, the, the building there, they had, not re they had not received any of the uh, effects of the bomb and they, they had not been burned. うん、で、彼らは私を見るなり、やはり、あ、顔が赤いと、やけどしてるっていうんで、あの、SL so there was a, uh, as I arrived, there was a steam locomotive there, and in one uh, compartment there was some um, oil that had been stored there. And so what I did as I proceeded to take that oil and, and rub it on my skin um, as a as a sap, as a sap. So his face as well. That was extremely painful. And um, as they began to put that um, salve on me, I, I realized um, how painful it was and I jumped in there. Now, you know, he evacuated into a Bokugo, you know, this is kind of like a hall um, where uh, the, uh, the people can evacuate. Um, and that, a shelter, I'm sorry, the bomb shelter, that he was going into, and then uh, evacuated into that. So, 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 I was in that shelter for about four hours, from about eight, eight to twelve. Well, during that time, I was trying very hard not, not to cry, of course. で、あの、ランチを食べて、え、普通今ですとおそらくその被爆ランチは誰も食べる人がいないでしょうけども、その当時私たちは放射能とかそういうものが全くわからないので、え、そのランチを食べました。so I, while I was there, I proceeded to eat my lunch, and of course, now looking back, um, we all would probably say that it would not be the right thing to eat a lunch that had just been exposed to radiation, but I didn't know the difference, and so I proceeded to eat my lunch. So I was so from my workplace to my home, it was actually about 16 kilometers and um, they were separated. So from here, my house was in this area here. So there was about 16 kilometers between here. え、歩いて、え、友達4人ぐらいいましたが、その友達と一緒にここから帰り始めて、この辺りの、ここから、ま、あの、SM工場この辺りです。で、ここからずっとこの橋を渡って、またこれを帰っていくんですけども、so from about four o'clock I proceeded to make my way towards home and there were about four other of my friends that were actually with me at that time and I began to leave my workplace where he was pointing and walk across the bridge past uh, the, um, the university and um, along the way, and as I proceeded to walk, the houses were continuing to be burning. So I was over there far to the left at the workplace and proceeded down that center part, but knowing that it was the 
center and the houses were more intensely burning in that area, my friends and I kind of did kind of a jig, jig path um, around the area where we were having to walk home, so it wasn't a straight line. So you probably realize this today and saw them, but there's actually seven rivers that are running through Hiroshima. So there's actually a number of legs of that river that, that spread out and moved across and what we were doing is we were crossing the bridge of, of that particular so as I made my way past the university, there were just a lot of people that had um, been burned and were dead there, but most specifically, also there were horses, but what specifically stood out in my mind is the fact that these horses that had, that had died and had burned, um, their eyes were bulging out of their head. そして、あの、もうその馬はもちろんのこと、この辺りではもう焼け死んだ真っ黒い死体がもうゴロゴロとしてました。It was here that there was just an insurmountable number of bodies that had been burned in this area. そしてその橋の田元に行くと、そのあの今でこそこういうふうなあの。まあ、綺麗なもの着てますけども、その頃はあ、物がない時ですから、薄い、もう本当カッターシャツのような本当薄着で皆さんが焼け通しておられました。So as I was walking across the bridge realizing and, and looking around, I and what we wear now is is vastly different than what we wore then. It was just very thin, thinly layered clothes and that was the way in which uh, that was the way that was what people were wearing at the time, and they were all burnt, so you can see that uh, So looking around, you're all wearing very fashionable clothes, and you look very nice, but at that time it was just very thinly layered clothes just to keep you cool. あの、その時のあの原子爆弾の熱が4000度から6000度と言われました。So it was at that point um it it said that the temperature of the um explosion was from 4000 to 6000 degrees Celsius. ですから爆心地の人はもちろんもう落ちた瞬間にみんなこの蒸発したような状態でみんな死んできましたよね。Clearly, those that were closest to the hypo center, it was just as if their bodies had evaporated, they had um, burned that quickly. So, as a result of that explosion, there were people in that area whose eyes just bulged out of their head and their innards and their stomachs exploded and um, they, their bodies became So as we were walking across the bridge, um, you can begin to see these are the kinds of sights that we were seeing as we made our way towards my home. この橋を渡って帰るときに、私のお父さんかお母さんか、姉さんか、兄さんか、誰かが自分を探して連れて帰ってくれるんじゃないかという、そういう気持ちで橋の田元に行くと、そういう人が群がってました。So as we were walking across the bridge and seeing these sights, clearly many of these people were, were still alive, and uh, many of them were wanting to be able to find find whether it was their mom or their dad or their sister or their brother and, and be able to, to reach out and help them in some way, but... Being, being um, waiting to be picked up and uh, searched by the family members, um, 
その方たちは今の言ったそういう薄いあのこの皮膚拭き取られるものでこれが全部破れちゃってそしてあのやけどで背中の方が真っ赤になってこう血が流れておるんですがあの夏の夕方の5時ぐらいの時間だとまたまたあの暑いです。So you can see that wearing those thinly layered clothes,、um, most of those clothes have been completely burned off and their skin had been torched and the, their backs、um, were so、uh, burned that they were actually bleeding on their backs. And、uh, this, was, this was still at about five o'clock in the afternoon when、um, we were seeing these kinds of sights. And it could be、uh, hot. And it was still hot.、Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you know, 私たちが橋を渡るたびにそういう人がたくさんいてそういう光景はあらどこの橋に行っても全く同じ光景で私たちを見ておりました。So therefore as we made our way to my house and we crossed those number of bridges、uh, remembering that there were seven different rivers that was the same kind of、uh, images that we saw every time we crossed、uh, a bridge on the way home. でその方たちはあのやけどをしてこの川がこう向けてくるんですがこの川がずっと向けてきてこの爪のところでこの川が止まってこの川が下にぶら下がるんですねですから痛いからみんなこういう状態でこの川がぶら下がってました。So as we were walking you can begin to imagine、um, the skin because it had、um, been burnt it had actually peeled off and the skin had come off the arms down to the cuticles and the skin was actually dangling off of their fingertips and you could see the skin dangling off here with the flesh being exposed. And they went、um, um, they felt, um, they, when they felt pains、um, naturally what they do is this to avoid the pains so that's why. そしてあのその当時あの各この町内には防火用水っていうのがあった防火用水っていうのはそれに水を入れておいてもし、えー、爆弾が落ちて火が家が燃えたらこの水を使って火を消すっていう防火用水というのを各所に置いてありました。Uh, in those days,、um, each... Particular part of the community had、um, these special water tanks that had been set up and established in the event that there had been further fire bombings like had happened、um, up north. And so people would begin to look for those、uh, water, water tanks in the community. And then to grab the fires just in case. So, the water is all over the place. 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 死んだ上の人にてその水を探して飲もうとしてみんなそこで死んでいました。Everyone was beginning to make their way towards those water barrels and as we passed those water barrels, people were dying at that point and so all around the barrels there were, there were dead bodies. The people even knew that there were dead bodies but they even jumped into the water and drinking the water where the dead bodies already died out there in the tanks. 今日資料館見られました。いや明日ああそうですか。はい、ま,まあ資料館に見られるとこのこの状態が見,見ることができます。Museum, see, uh, images, uh, で私が見たあの、えー、職場からそこまで家までの光景はそそういう光景で終わります。So that was what I saw throughout my entire time traveling from my workplace back to, back to my home. 今度は私の被爆の,あの治療に入ります。So、therefore, で、I, I the, the of, uh, その頃は、まあ、日本には薬が全くなくて、えー、今だったら。やけどの薬、専門のやけどの薬があったと今ではありますが、その当時はなくて、アカチンという赤い液体の薬がありました。
私が鉄道院ですからちょうど私の,その村に鉄道病院の小さい分院がありましたあの小さい本,本当の病院は駅の前にその分院が私の村にありました、uh, 鉄道病院ですね Because I worked at the railroad and、um, was employed by them, there was actually right in front of us a, a, a hospital that、um, was, was equipped. It wasn't, it wasn't your large kind of hospital, but it was a,、yeah. a, a branch hospital that served the railroad personnel. で、私が鉄道員ですから、そこへ行って、えー、治療を受けるのは全部無料です。So when I went there as, as a worker at the railroad company, I was able to receive free、uh, treatment. えー、無料だけども薬はないんでその赤チンという薬だけをもらって帰って顔に塗ります。Uh, course, that, so、で、えー、薬を飲んで、えー、まあ治療を受けるのは終わりなんですけどもその赤チンをこう鏡を見ながらこう赤チンをこう塗っていくんです。で首の後ろはああの母が塗ってくれるんですけどもこの赤チンを塗ると、えー、この皮膚が。こう浮いてくるんですね。かさぶたっていうっていうことありますかね。えー、かさぶたになるんです。Uh, so um as I, as I made my way home, there wasn't much to do besides、um, put uh, uh, put that bromine on, and I actually had my mother help me put it on my neck and in other places.、Um, so、かさぶた、まあ皮膚が起きる、乾いて。で鏡を見てそれをこう剥がしてその剥がしたところにまた赤チンを塗っていきます。So as I... As, as the days continued, I would look in the mirror and, and see those boils produce,、uh, on my face, and I would peel them off, and then I'd put、um, the bromamine on there again. The Kawa Jugunde Dekimas, I'm a Kagami or Mite Akati or Nukota Jugunde Dekimas, Ga, Kubino Mushiro, Jugunde or Dekina, no de, Hahani, Nutemora de Masta. Of course, I was able to hold a mirror and look at my face, and I could. therefore put, put that on my face myself, but I wasn't able to see my neck, and so therefore I had to have my mother help me、uh, put that on, on the back of my neck. ところが、あの赤っていうのは顔はいいんですけど、こう寝て、枕屋にこうずっと寝ているもんですから、赤っが枕の方について 100% この皮膚にはあのついてこないわけですね。So, as I put the bromine on, of course, when you put it on your face and you're sleeping, your face is pointing、uh, upwards. But when you put it on your neck、um, and you're resting on your back,、um, 100% of the bromine doesn't stay and provide a soothing、um, aspect, and it would get onto the pillow, and therefore、um, it did not heal as quick. The Kubi got on down, Kono Akatin no Kori was k u n a t e ここの肉がだんだん腐っていくためにすごく臭く臭いあの海がこう出てくるんです。And because it wasn't healing well, the skin became、um, uh, rancid and、um, infected, and therefore、um, a lot it began began to develop a lot of pus. その海に、えー、ウイルスがあ湧いてきました。And there in the pus,、um, maggots began to form. そのウジ虫をお母はいつも泣きながらあの箸でこう取ってました。And、um, my mother she would、um, as she would sit behind me and with chopsticks she would be、um, pulling the maggots out of the pus、um, and she would she would do that as she's sitting there crying。だから、えー、今でもおその時のお母さんの涙がこの方法に落ちてくるんですけどもね、えー、その<笑>涙の温かさがいまだに忘れることができないんです
Um, even now, I remember my mother sitting there um, crying and lamenting the fact that this had happened to me, and that's one of the most difficult memories that I have of the whole thing. And uh, her teardrops are actually dropping on his cheeks, and uh, he still remembers the warmth, warmth of the uh, her teardrops that drop on, from you, her eyes to on, onto his cheeks. At times she would reach down like this and grab me in her arms and, and hug me and, and embrace me. She, uh, she would see the burns on my neck and, and the maggots that were forming um, in, in my injuries and she looked at the burns in my, uh, on my face and she would say to me, I wish you would die quickly, I wish you would die quickly. Of course, I don't believe that she really wanted me to die, but it was just the sense of her overwhelming amount of grief for the circumstances that I was in that she was saying that because of the amount of pain that I was in. And she felt helpless for not being able to help this unholy son. So, look, reflecting back at that time, at this point, it's 69 years ago at this point. Even though it's been 69 years, I, I look back and the, the, the memories and the images are so vivid to me and I'm 86 years old even now, but as I sit here before you, I, I recall these things and it seems, seems so, very, so very close and, and still so very personal to me. And of course, if I were to ask you to try and remember 69 years ago, you're not even that old, so you're not going to be able to do that. But for me, remembering back 69 years is, is just, just as if it were. This kind of condition continued for about four months. As so um, during those four months, um, the, the pus continued to form. My mother continued to, to pull the maggots out of, of the, the, the sores that were forming on the back of my neck. Um, my face continued to be burned. And during this time, um, I was suffering also from, from diarrhea. And um, my hair began to fall out. And that was the sign that people said, that's when you're, you're just about to die. So, 
as, as those maggots were forming and so forth, and, and, and we were pulling them out, each day or every morning I would um, grab onto my hair and, and see if my hair was, was coming out as well, and I'd try and pull on it. So each day I spent, you know, in the morning I'd pull on my hair, and if my hair didn't come out, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be able to live at least one more day. So I was uh, as I was living out in this area, uh, there were neighbors uh, um, um, okay. uh, here in this agricultural village, there were people that uh, were creating um, uh, oil, uh, vegetable oils, and they gave me uh, some of their oil. So there near my home, one of the wives of the farmers um, said to me, um, why don't you try and put this oil on instead of uh, the bromamine? And she gave me some oil to, to place on my injuries. え、その油が、あの、食用油の方が良かったんでしょう。赤チンではなかなか治らなかったところが、その油を塗っていくと、だんだんだんだんこの虫々もいなくなり、この顔とか手とか足とかの焼け止めだんだん良くなりました。As I began to put the, the vegetable oil on um, a lot of the places that wouldn't heal previously with the bromamine actually began to get much better in my face and the back of my neck and the, the bugs, all of that began to clear up much uh, better as a result of using that. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
than what we actually experienced in あの、ステインでもやりましたし、え、ベネレーザ、ベネレーザでもやりましたし、え、世界を回りながら話をするのに今の4000倍、3000倍から4000倍という話をします。え、therefore uh, I have joined and uh, become a part of the peace boat uh, activity and have proceeded to make my way around to a number of different countries including Spain and Venezuela. Venezuela. I'm speaking about the the, the, the the dangers of these kinds of hydrogen bombs. So if we were looking at what I just explained to you and the impact in a 1.8 kilometer spread, um, and we were to multiply that by 3,000 times, we're looking at 4,500 kilometers of damage. So, if we were to multiply that by 3,000 kilometers of damage, so if we're trying to put 4,500 kilometers in perspective, I'd like you to consider that from Hokkaido to Okinawa is only about 3,000 kilometers. So if we were to say that a hydrogen bomb were placed, excuse me, if we were to say that it put a compass at Tokyo, and draw a circle around that, and if a hydrogen bomb were placed in the center, we'd talk about the effects of a hydrogen bomb reaching as far as Vietnam from Tokyo. So, so during uh, the atomic bomb, during I was burned, this, uh, this, this thoroughly um, even within the radius of 1.8 kilometers, but just imagine that there would be that many more people that would be burnt if they within this 4,500 mile range. <laughs> So therefore, I, I'm wondering if people, the, peop, the, the countries of the U.S. and Russia and Israel and others who say that they um, have these kinds of bombs, do they really understand the effects that um, would happen if they were to use these? I'm, I'm convinced that there probably won't be a second time in which these kinds of bombs are actually used. その中には原子力発電所があるし韓国もその 4000 even if we were to bring that number down much uh, smaller to the range of, say, 2,000 kilometers, um, if we were to put that in proportion to the number of actually of actual uh, nuclear reactors that are in use in countries such as China and Korea, um, Japan, Japan having over, over 50, Korea having more than eight, and who knows how many are in Korea, excuse me, in China, 
uh, just imagine the, the results that could possibly happen as a result of, of, of some incident. That's why I'm going to places and continuing talks in places um, like I did last year in New York and getting and being part of activities such as the Peace Boat movement that I'm on right now. で、あの、ニューヨークからあの、子供たちにあの、感想も送ってくれてあったな。ジャパンソサイティの時に言ったんです。そしたらこうして感想も送ってくれました。え、ちょっと読んでいただいてください。これはま、娘があのちょっと
So um, this this president here in, in the past has has called others um, uh, from the Philippines and Singapore and, and other places and brought them to Japan and, and talk, uh, presented uh, these kinds of stories to them. This, this person is, is getting older in years um, at this point, um, but, but he is also a graduate of uh, Hiroshima University here in town. And he was actually a, a, a victim of, he, he was a hibaku shot as well. And um, he's receiving some uh, support from the company or from the government as well. And I too receive about 33,000 33, yen um, uh, of support from, from the government as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This president here who has been offered to receive support from the Japanese government in the, in, in the numbers that I just mentioned um, has actually turned that down, but rather he has said if I were to be offered that kind of support from the United States, I would receive it, but being offered from Japan, I, he chooses to decline it. それからシンガポール、それからスリランカ、アカバ、このヨルダンに行った時に、私あのヨルダンであのイスラエルとあの今のパレスチナのこの紛争をして避難をされた方と会いました。So in in my uh, travels I've been to places like uh, Singapore and Sri Lanka and Jordan and in Israel and even talking with uh, people in, in Israel and recognizing the challenges there uh, between the Palestinians. Um, we, I, I, I've spoken with them about these kinds of things. Yeah, who spoke about uh, Israel and Palestinian dispute? So, this is the Shikai to you, Shikai. その he, he received a, a map from he received a map from the people um, who were actually missing. So he second generation. Sure, second generation Japanese who he received this map from so while on tour with, at those places. So there were there were three third generation Palestinians in that area, I'm sorry. and so he, they, when he received that map, he told them, he said, "I'm not Japanese. I'm actually I'm actually Korean." Second generation Korean living in Japan. ですからもうその方たち、え、賛成、ま、私は2世でもうあの、韓国に帰れないんだから、あ、賛成ぐらいになるともうパレスチナには入る人はいないと思いました。so they, they were a third generation uh, Palestinian, and I was a second generation uh, Korean. But as we began to talk, <coughs> we realized that there's probably no one who actually wants to go back into Palestine. So I was visiting with this, this third generation Palestinian, he was in his 90s and 
our, our conversation was centered around this, this particular topic. その人があの家の鍵とそれから家の権利証を持っておられました。He actually has a key to the house and he also has the、um, rights the いつかはパレスチナに帰るんだという気持ちだったと思います。And he has the hope someday being able to actually return to Palestine at some day in the future. まあ今の今日あたりの新聞を見てもとても帰れること帰ることはできないんじゃないかと私は思っております。However, if you were to look at the newspapers today, you'd recognize that it's very difficult for people to make their way back to Palestine at, at this point. But he has the hope of someday being able to, to do that, taking advantage of the fact that he has a home, he has the deed, he even has the keys to the home that's there. So, I think that's the most i m p o r t a n アウシュビッツに行きました。One thing that is really deeply seated in my heart is a time in which I was able to visit to visit Auschwitz. で、あそこの門のところに、えー、働けば自由になるって書いてあります。Over the, the gate, プレートがあります。Over the, the entrance gate、uh, reads the sign that if, if you work Work, you'll become free. Work makes you free. So I, I reinterpreted that as everyone who enters here will die. And so I reinterpreted that as everyone who enters here will die. 女性のこの頭のこの紙がこの部屋いっぱいぐらいにこう積んであるんですね。So as I made it into that camp, I, I looked around and there was a room about the same size and it was just filled with、um, women's hair. その女性の紙は、えー、それを加工して布団にしたりいろいろなものに加工したようです。That hair was used for the creation of making mattresses and various other items. So, in the next one, I also saw just huge mountains, hill, hill like forms,、uh, I'm sorry, a, a large volume. Uh, of shoes that were from, from small, medium, and even larger sizes that were there as well. So, as I was there throughout the time, I just continued to, to think about that, and, and my eyes were filled with tears so much to the extent that I was unable to. To continue to、um, take pictures or do anything else、um, while on my visit. Auschwitz, you got a cut out with the Narimaska. Is there anyone who's ever been to Auschwitz? Hi, 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 hi. I know Kavan will meet at the Kinney, I know Kavan Ni Namaito, Jibuno Jusho, Gakaita Rundesne. There on one of the walls, you can see where people write their name and their address. そのカバンはお前たちはここで働いてまた帰るときにはこのカバンを持って帰るんだよという意味の,あのアドレスを書いてあったと思います。That was the place where people would write their name and their address as they came and made their way back. <笑>ところがあそこに中に入った人は一人として生きて帰った人はいません。But unfortunately,、um, every person who actually went in never made it out. そしてあの女性も男性も全部裸にしてそしてシャワーを浴びるように格好してガス室へ送っていくわけですけども、so alike, um, clothes, showered, 私はあの証言の中で
私は原子爆弾に撃たれても死の恐怖というのはありませんでした。ところが彼女たちや彼らはシャワーを浴びたら必ずもう死ぬというところへ行くわけですね。だから私は死は考えなかったけどもその人たちは何をそこに考えたか今から死が待ってるのに何も考えずにそこに行ったのか神,神にただ祈るだけでそこに行ったのか私はそ,のそこを理解することはとてもできませんでした。So for me, I did not have to face the fear of death in that same way, but for them, as they were in the shower and knowing that they were headed in one more, in another direction later on, I don't know if they knew that they were going to be dying or they were going to be killed,、uh, or, they, or they had the fear, but I never, I never had to experience that fear like they did. Ma, sensei たちはあの今の大学を卒業されて皆さん先生になっておられるけど私,たち私はもう小学校しか出てませんけどもおそういう表現もできないままただこれが人間ができることかということを私は考えました。So as you as teachers you all have been to, to university and have graduated and are working for me I've only completed Grammar school education,、um, but、uh, let's go help me. Yes, I was wondering that this fundamental question that how could any human being be capable of creating a situation like this? <coughs> そして今の言うドイツのあゲ,ゲッターかなんかそういう人間が人を殺すというのは人間っていうのは場合によっては人を殺せるんだなっていうことを私は考えました。人を殺すということができる人間ができるっていうことができるということが私は感じました。I realized at that point that mankind is able to, to do such atrocities and to, to kill people in, in this way. だけども人間が人を殺す権利は誰も持っていません。People, right、私はそれを考えたときに、つくづく今のこの平和というものが、いかに私はこの平和という言葉を美しいと表現します。So when I think of that, I, I consider the, the kinds of peace education. そして、まあえー、世界を一周して最後にハワイに行きました。で、ハワイに行ったときに、えー、バスのガイドさんが、あバスの中で本当に、えー、私は勇気を出して皆さんに質問をしますと言われました。そして、もちろん彼はあのアメリカ人ですが、えー、自分は勇気を出してあなた方に質問をします。で、それは何か。アメリカを原子爆弾を落としたアメリカをあなたたちはどういうふうに考えてますかという質問でした。And, uh, this, this 
he thought he was being very brave, and he said to us, um, what, uh, what do you all think about America dropping the atomic bomb? I just want to just add that uh, he was on a peace boat with other uh, Hibakushas, which is just that, you know, when he said us. それであのここにあの一、えー、人これは一歳の時に広島で被爆した人そうですがこの人はいやいやアメリカなんて憎んでないですっていうふうな発言をしましたバスの中で私はそれをあのアメリカを憎んでないかということをそのバスの中で私はあのそれに対しては返事をしませんでした。I didn't say anything to the person who said I don't have any ill feelings towards the Americans or to the person who asked the question. But later on, as I was walking one on one with this person, I turned to that person and said, um, Quite honestly, I, I hated America to the point that I would have wanted to kill. And you would consider uh, the Americans as a kichiku. And a kichiku is kind of like a demon and the animals and then something that are not a human. That's what uh, he felt the Americans at the time. At the time. Uh, uh, I was angry. And this person was angry, but I was angry. But I was angry. And America was angry. ものすごくあの炎上物資をミルクにしてもこういう衣服にしてもすごい炎上物資を送ってくれました。Of course, this person before me said I have never hated America, but as for me, I did. And but over time, that changed. And what was most specific is that America later extended tremendous support and aid to us, providing things like milk and these kinds of clothes. その当時、えー、私たちはまあ被爆もしましたけども体中はあのシラミとかあるいは飲み女性の方も頭にシラミがもう湧いてました。Um, in those days, um... Had developed um, some kind of, of worm that had grown into their scalps and, and things in their hair. So, the shirami of 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 the They had developed lice um, the and, and they had um, what, they, what the Americans had done is they had brought in and into every single household. They had distributed、uh, lice prevention and lice treatments、um, to every household. So, you and you, it's a day, but I saw a hundred minute. Ah, America to you, so I'm not going to be a sassy member. I don't know. So, you go to what I saw a hundred minute. So, it was then that was the first time that I had actually realized that、um, Americans had this kind of, of heart towards us, and because they had provided this kind of very practical. そういうふうに私はガイドさんに説明しました。So、で、ニューヨークっていうところはご存知のように、えー、パールハーバーがありますね。じゃあ、パールハーバーが先か、原子爆弾か、あとか、この卵と鶏の,あの,この航路になってしまいますけども、私はアメリカ、そ,のとそういうふうに援助してくださったアメリカに対しては、So, at that time, clearly, you know, we can look at what happened at Pearl Harbor and then what, what had happened here in Japan with the atomic bombs, and we could go round and round as to which was the cause and which was the result.、Uh, but as I explained that to the guy that day, I told him what's most important going forward at this point is that, that we, that 
we have spent uh, friendship and developed uh, deep relations um, going forward. And I, and I thank you very much. It's very grateful for the assistance that he provided. Yeah, he was very, yeah. Now, but, you know, if you have a chance to 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 of course, you probably have many other opportunities to hear from Hibakusha, and I want you to understand that each one of their stories is probably very different, but I've been able to share with you my story here today. Uh, but just know that going forward, that each person's story is going to be vastly different. Today, actually, in the Asahi newspaper, there was an article that stated that the average age of the Hibakusha is about 78.2 years old. And so, as, as we continue to get older and older, there will be fewer and fewer people. Who actually are able to speak of these events. So over the next day or so you'll have opportunities to be, um, view the museums and hear other uh, testimonies of things that have gone on and I just encourage you to, to hear those things, see those things, take them back to your countries just as you've seen and heard them and report them to the people around you including all those that you serve. <laughs> So why don't we have a, like about ten minutes? Um, if you have any questions, uh, then we can we can ask him questions. But uh, before we have to leave, much for sharing your story and being a crusader for peace. I think these kinds of powerful testimonies that really leaves impressions on students and encourages them to also be advocates for peace. My question is. What kind of services did the government provide, the Japanese government provide after World War II for the Hibacha? And also, what was it like assimilating back into society? <laughs> で、あの、本当にこのあの、リサの証言は本当に力強いものがあって、あの、ぜひ自分たちの生徒にもお話をして、え、結構と思って生徒の中でもやっぱその平和活動で充実、充実、あの、生徒が出てくるんじゃないか
でその伏流丸事件があって初めてこの被爆した人に対する補償というのが生まれました。The support that was given to those men that were impacted by the radiation. That was the first time in which there was ever any discussion of providing support for people who had suffered uh, radiation effects. Just to add to the note, uh, an atomic bomb was dropped in 1950, uh, 1945. And then this incident of Daigo Fukuryuma, the name of the ship, actually, uh, tuna fishing ship, was in the area where the American government was conducting hydrogen bombs. Uh, Experiment was 1954. So, yeah. so, so up until that time, there actually was no, no help offered by the government until 1954 when this first, when this first incident yeah, related to the fishermen. Yeah, all the fishermen were exposed to the radiation. And that became a huge news. それから福竜丸で亡くなられてから我々被爆者が政府に対して補償しなさいということを私たちはデモをかけました。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。You need to be providing some kind of support or aid to us. Yeah, to that we most about this. So in the beginning, we were receiving about 35,000 yen per month uh, when we first began receiving aid. Um, if later on, once I was able to show that I was had, had direct injuries or uh, uh, direct or injuries or, or, illness. or yeah. illness related to the bomb, um, that aid actually increased to about 150,000 yen per month. And the Hibakushas usually, if, uh, whether they develop the symptoms or not, they were able to get an adapt assistance. Um, because they were classified, if they were there at that time, they were instantly labeled, and this, uh, labeled as a Hibakusha, recognized as a Hibakusha, whether they were healthy or not. Uh, at the 35,000. Yeah, 35,000. えー、この事件がなかったならば私たちあの日本の政府は保証はしてくれなかったと思います。If this incident involving the ship in Micronesia in the U.S. had not happened, it's very likely, I believe, that the Japanese government would not be providing any particular aid to us. えそれから戦後の私たちの生活ですが、after after addressing your second question about what was life like after the war. えー、私たち韓国人は、えー、祖先代々の土地もありません、そして技術も持っていません。お酒をあのドブロクっていうお,お酒を作るのが上手でした。So my mother was very skilled at making sake, and so that that's what she did. これを作って私たちはこの各家庭に売って歩きました。So because my mother was good at making this, she would make it, and we would go about the neighborhood and the area and sell it house to house. だけども日本の人は、えー、昔からの土地もあり技術力もありましたし、えー、商売も上手でしたから比較的日本の人は戦後は、まあ、食べ物はなかったけどもそういう面では我々韓国人,韓国人とは違いましたね。Uh, uh, 
after the war, clearly um, the Japanese, they were able to have property, they had um, skills, they were very good at running businesses and so forth. Um, and when comparing that with what we as Koreans had, um, we, we just didn't, we didn't have that at all. And so that's where the biggest difference was in life for us. その修税を違反で私は刑務所に放り込まれたこともあります。税。え、そう、during えー、そういうふうに戦後は本当に我々はあの大日は苦労をしましたし、先ほどちょっと言い忘れたんですけども、ちょっと言ってください。So え、原子爆弾によって、え、小広島で約14万ぐらい亡くなってるんですけども、え、14万から17万と言われますけども、その中には我々のような韓国人、中国人、オーストラリア、イギリス、アメリカというふうな人が同じように死んでます。I I that died during that atomic explosion that were just like us uh, uh, Koreans, Chinese, Australians, Americans, uh, many different people that were uh, affected as a result of, of the bomb. Uh, even though there are many people who suffered as a result of that, there are actually very, very few people who will actually speak about the incident such as I'm doing today. Um, it's, it's, it's a reality that um, whether it was the atomic bomb in Hiroshima or was the atomic bomb dropped in Nagasaki, it wasn't just Japanese people who were impacted as a result of that bomb, but there were many, many other kinds of people that were here and were impacted. 特にアメリカの捕虜の場合は自国が作った爆弾で死んだっていう悲惨さもあるわけですね。so following the war, as I've explained, we were able to share, to sell sake and experience some of those things as I've just told you. あ、あの、伊藤さんの話先に。え、聞きましょうか。はい、伊藤さんにはよかった。いや、ないです。あの、2時半です。あの、じゃあ、ね。ま、ぜひもしもしてきます、来ます。はい。だから、またその時に2時